Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to change it up a bit. There is a lot going on in the world right now. I do not want to continue to bring up something that you literally see every time you open up social media or go on the news or even just open up a web browser. But I had this idea to make it a little more lighthearted in this tough time right now. It was an idea that actually Sean, my boyfriend, came up with and I kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it a little more something that I would be up for filming. So I figured to make today very lighthearted, I'm going to actually be showing you guys makeup must-haves that I cannot live without in quarantine. If I was quarantined somewhere forever, what I would absolutely need, what my must-haves would be for that. So we are going to be making it lighthearted. I am going to have music playing just to make this a little more fun. This is products that I absolutely need. Everything that I'm going to be mentioning is on my face. It took me a good solid two hours with hair and makeup to get ready. So holy shit, like would I be doing a full face every single day? No, but I would be picking up either all of these for a full face or just bits and pieces to kind of get through the day. I always feel really good with a lip, but I'm gonna go ahead and dig right in. So if you're interested to find out what my must haves will be, keep watching. Before we get started, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of my future videos. And let's go ahead and get started. So to start out, we're gonna start out with exactly how I do my makeup in order. So I always start with my brows because honestly it's just the easier way to go for me because I know exactly what eyebrow look I'm going for and I know how thick I want it to be so I already know my routine. So for the first item, I absolutely love the Instant Lift Brow Pencil from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is, for one, super cheap. e.l.f. has really great products that are super affordable. You guys already know this, but it's a retractable eyebrow pencil and has a spoolie on the other end. For me, it's not too thin, not too thick, and it's really easy to just sculpt out my brows, kind of get the shape that I want, and then to fill them in, I use the pencil, but I also go into my next must have which is the essence make me brow eyebrow gel mascara this is again very affordable and it's just a little teeny tiny spoolie that just kind of really kind of fills them in where I need them to be because I don't like for them to be super thick but when they are thin they are sparse and I cannot tolerate it so those two together for me are what I absolutely need for my brows. Next I actually go in with eyeshadow because if you guys watch my channel you watch my videos you know that I absolutely hate fallout on my face after I've already done my foundation and my concealer so for eyeshadows the eyeshadow palette that I have which Again, you watch my videos, I'm freaking obsessed with it, is the Tati Beauty Palette. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this palette. And the reason being, if you are living under a rock and you do not know about this palette, these shades are freaking just everything that you need it's every essential that you need it is not a very bright colored palette but I'm a very neutrals girl it is rare that you will ever see me with a very 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 bold eyeshadow look so I always lean towards these two rows here this brown I went in today with some of the orange which I tried to change it up a bit but I absolutely love this and I have always been obsessed with glitters and the glitters on this palette is just so freaking beautiful that again that's what I have on my eyeshadows today and it's just so 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 gorgeous I absolutely love the color scheme the formulas are really easy to work with and I don't even care how big the palette is 
I will stick this thing right in any, I will find a way to squeeze this into any travel bag to bring it with me because it is just that gorgeous. So if you do not have this palette, I don't know why not, but this is absolutely essential for me to survive because even if I do not do a full face of makeup, I am sticking one of these eyeshadows on my lids just to run out the door, just to get something on. So absolutely, I must have this. If I ever lost this, my heart would break into a billion, billion pieces and I would not be able to live without this palette. So it's out of the box, out of everything on my table. This is absolutely needed all the time. For eyeliner, I actually am a little newer to this particular eyeliner, but fell in love, absolutely love it. It is the Eyeliner from House Laboratories. It's a felt tip liner, but it is a gigantic marker size freaking precise liner that is what I'm wearing today. My eyeliner got a little jacked up today because I went a little crazier than I normally would, but it is so good. It just goes right through, no skipping. It's so pigmented the minute you put it on. It's just so completely worth it. I at first was questioning the price on it, but it is absolutely the best eyeliner that I think I've ever tried. I've tried a lot of eyeliners throughout my days and this for me has to be the best one. So absolutely needed for eyeliner. For mascara, for me, it's really no question. The Superhero Elastic Mascara from IT Cosmetics for me just does everything for me that I need. It really gets my eyelashes looking so close to falsies actually i don't wear falsies i don't have falsies for my must-haves because i just don't wear them i really actually love my natural lashes so this for me really takes it up a notch that i need it flares them out there's volume it's just honestly one of the best mascaras that i've tried so i absolutely love it now jumping to the face. So for the face, I have really been loving the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. So I've tried a few foundations, but honestly, I only put a little on today. It's so comfortable. I normally with foundations feel like I have spots that are itchy. I just, I'm really not into the full, full coverage. And this for me is an absolute must have. It's so comfortable. It really does moisturize my skin. I don't feel dry when it's on, where I sometimes do with other foundations. So for me, this is just the perfect, perfect, perfect stick it in your bag do a quick few drops actually it's what I did today I put a few drops and I blended it in and that's really what it is I did not do a whole bunch all over the face and I did not do a second coat of this I literally just did the one blended it in popped a little more dots in places that I needed it and I was good to go to move on with the other steps of my makeup so absolutely love this love this from Colourpop for concealer, I have actually tried a few different concealers. I haven't really tried the higher end, but for me, don't really care because this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, such a good coverage. It's freaking ridiculous. And this is only like six bucks. Like, you really can't beat that. I've had this concealer for quite some time, a few months, maybe even longer than that. And it is such a good concealer. It just, you don't even have to go back in for a second dip. You literally can pull it right out. It has the nicest doe foot. I love a giant doe foot. Go in, go in. I do my nose, chin, and right here. I don't even have to dip back in. And even the little bits that I put on those spots fully covered to the point where I'm like, shit, I think I put too much, even though I just went in and went like that. So to me, that's a no brainer. I absolutely love this concealer. It conceals all of my deadness, all of my just lifelessness. It really gets in there. It covers it all up. So that is such a must have for me. For setting powder, I don't really use a lot of setting powder, but when I do, I found that the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder is 
so good. I love the fragrance to it. If you put too much, there, it is a very perfumey fragrance. It has a kind of mixture between a fresh fragrance and a perfumey fragrance. But for me, this is a lot of product that you're getting for only like six to seven bucks on Amazon. And it works really, really great for me. I don't really, again, use a lot of powder because for me, I am a beginner slash middle person with makeup so I don't really find the benefit of putting this on I don't bake but when I do feel like I do want to set my face just to lock everything in especially with the new makeup hack that I have been doing which I did today which is setting my moisturizer this is a really good one for me and it's affordable definitely a must-have for bronzer, the reason I'm going to be mentioning this one is because it is the only bronzer that I've purchased and that is because I didn't really feel the need for a bronzer and because I've just now started getting comfortable, I wanted to go with a brand that I knew had really good products that I've used in the past and was affordable. So for me, it is the Prime Infused Bronzer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is the shade Forever Sunkissed and for me, it really chiseled out my cheeks. I didn't contour. I actually went in with this for my nose and it's very affordable. It works for me like a bronzer should work and I've seen enough videos to know how a bronzer works. This seems like it does the trick. So for me, must have. So I skipped primer and we all need primer. So for me, it is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Puff Puff Primer. So I actually just purchased this not too long ago but i really actually enjoy it for me i really try looking for primers that are hydrating because i do have really dry skin and this for me works amazingly it feels like a moisturizer when you're putting it on it is part of their cannabis sativa line which i've been very interested in trying more cbd hemp cannabis products and for me i absolutely love it for blush I am in love with this blush from Ciate London. It is their marbled light blush and I actually did get this in one of my BoxyCharm boxes and I love it. And it really is just the perfect pink shade. I mean, it makes your cheeks nice and rosy. It has a little mirror at the top. I mean, we never know quarantined or apocalypse you need a freaking mirror bam it's right there it's right there for you you can see yourself and do your makeup really quickly or put a lip on whatever you're gonna do so this for me is awesome definitely perfect travel size as well so highlighter is another thing just like the bronzer i am late to the game didn't really feel like a highlighter was such a necessity in my makeup routine and i came across this becca cosmetics pressed pop highlighters Again, from BoxyCharm, which I do have to shout out BoxyCharm for always introducing me to new products. So this is the shade Champagne Pop, and this is again a really gorgeous highlighter. It has a little bit of gold reflex, a little bit of silver reflex. It's just the perfect tone that I love my highlighter to be. I don't like my highlighters to be too golden. I don't like them to be too icy white. I don't like the pink purples and all of that. I really like a simple highlighter. Get to the point. Give me a little shine and this one does that for me. So this one is another one that is a must have. For setting spray, I have not ventured away from e.l.f. because e.l.f. I just love them so much. So for the setting spray, it's their Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray for me. It works like it's supposed to work. It locks in my makeup. I feel like my makeup stays for a long time. The mister is, oh god, the mister is very light airy it doesn't feel like i'm getting splashed in the face with a water gun or a hose and it's affordable so this is another one that i keep all the time that i feel like i will need no matter what oh my gosh i'm like at the end and i didn't think this is going to be such a short video <laughs> but we are two lips we're we're there um i don't contour well, I contour, but honestly, the bronzer for me really kind of does the contour for me, so I don't feel like that is something that I need to separately incorporate into the video. So, for lips. Now, I am a lip fiend. Just to show you guys how much of a lip girl I am, 
This is the cup of lips that I keep by my makeup desk because for one, they don't fit anymore in my <laughs> lip bags that I bring with me in my purse, but it's some shades that are reds and other shades that I just don't really wear as often as I would like. But that's not just it, guys. My lip bag. This one is just filled with lipsticks. All different goodies, different shades, ma mainly nudes, but lip liners are in there too. And then I have a separate bag for glosses. Like, guys, this is how obsessed. Like, literally. Does a person need this many lips? They don't because mainly all of these shades are like literally like maybe a 0.01% off regarding the color to each other so I technically honestly don't need this much lips and if I added up the amount of money that I've spent on lips alone I mean I could probably like get groceries for a couple months so that really just is to show that there was a lot of contenders but there are two lip products that I had to absolutely show I did not use a lip liner and I didn't include a lip liner in my must-haves because I simply don't use lip liners that often. I'm getting more into using them, but if I really had to make the decision, if I had last minute, oh God, I gotta grab my lip stuff, I would not reach for a lip liner. But I have all these lipsticks and that's what we're starting with. And I actually just ordered the House Laboratories La Monster Lip Crayon because I kept doing their Instagram try-on effect things, which what shade would be your shade. And I kept coming across this one shade. I did it twice. And the same shade popped up, which is the shade Dusk. And it really made me say, you know what? I think I really need to purchase it because for one the shade looks so pretty and two I really think this is a sign that I need to try these crayons so I just got it in the mail a couple days ago it is the perfect nude like it's perfect and do I have a color like this in my lip bag already probably but you know what this smooths on, it's super creamy. I have a few other lip crayons and when you put it on, it's so rough that you almost feel like it is chapping your lips as you're putting it on. Nobody wants to feel that way about a lip product, but this, I just put it on and was like, wow, this is amazing. Fill it in my whole lip and it is so worth it to me and I was so skeptical because house laboratories for my broke ass is a little expensive but this is just the perfect perfect nude in an everyday situation you just want to pop on a nude you don't want to put on a red you don't want to put something else bold on or just put a gloss sometimes you do want some color and you do want to just liven up your everyday life even if you are quarantined if you can't go anywhere and you just want to feel like you're not lifeless then put on a nice nude and that's what I have on today and I freaking love it it's just amazing lip gloss lip gloss lip gloss lip gloss I think majority of in here comparing the two in my lip cup here I have lip glosses more than I have lipsticks and for me absolute favorite right now that is a must-have is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. This is in the shade Supernatural. Again, it is what I'm wearing on top of the House Laboratories Lips Crayon. And it is just the perfect. The doe foot's a little tiny for my liking, but it really just gets it on there. It's so nice. It's not super thick it doesn't leave any of that film that kind of builds up in your corners of your mouth it's like the perfect shade I have used this lip gloss shade for one this has lasted me such a long time and I use it over a lot of different colors I have put pinks on I've put nudes on I've put like peachy nudes on and I have always topped it with this because for some reason it just makes it come to life if that makes sense I feel like I'm being a little extra about a lip but 
that's just how passionate I am about lip glosses and I absolutely love, 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 love this. And now I, this is not part of their new Super Luscious collection. So I did purchase this before they came out with the newer glosses, but for me, this is so perfect. And again, super affordable. You can get it at Ulta, get it wherever, you know, any drugstore, but it's just so good to me. And because I use it on every single lip, I absolutely need it for everything. No, guys, I think that is it. That is probably the quickest video I've ever filmed because all my videos end up being about an hour, hour and a half long just to film. So, I am, again doing this video just to be very lighthearted about the situation and I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations. Let me know down below if there's anything that you would absolutely need that I did not mention as a must have in any sort of situation and yeah I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed today's video. Try to be a little more lighthearted and I hope that it helped you guys and you know do yourself up once in a while like you know what I'm glad I did my hair and put my full face makeup on because I'm not going anywhere but at least you know when I do like Instagram stories I won't look like I just rolled out of bed which I always do but okay thank you guys so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy what you saw today and I will see you guys in my next video bye